Hello and welcome to this bonus episode of Essex by the Sea. I'm Owen Ward and I'm exploring the Essex coast on this podcast. For this bonus episode though, I'm starting in South End, right next to the pier, and I'm waiting for the High Sheriff of Essex to join me. Julie Fosh is the High Sheriff for 2020 and has challenged herself to walk from Harwich to Tilbury over the course of a fortnight. Today, she's doing the stretch between Shoebury Ness and Benfleet, and I can see her just coming round the corner of Adventure Island. Julie, how are you doing? Hi, very well, thanks, Owen. Lovely to meet you. Well, thank you very much for joining me. First of all, how's the legs and the feet? Uh, they're doing rather r- remarkably well, actually. Thank you. We had one day off uh, on Saturday to lay a wreath for VJ commemoration, and I had to wear court shoes. And that, to be honest, is the only time my feet have hurt, and I'm really pleased to get back into my boots. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you want to do it during this year as, as High Sheriff? Well, it's an opportunity to um, uh, share the great Essex coastline, the coastal towns, coastal communities, raise the profile of some of the charities and organisations along the coast. And, of course, it's particularly poignant this year where organisations have been struggling with um, communities in lockdown. Uh, The idea originally was to get youngsters involved to join us on various legs from the coastal schools. But, of course, with COVID-19, the schools uh, closed and it was was hard to to organise that. So we put the walk back a bit into uh, August and uh, now we're starting to pick up some people along the way. We're joined by some um, uh, students, some 16-year-olds on the National Citizen Programme and we're also joined by some scouts a little bit further on down the line. What's the role of the High Sheriff? So the High Sheriff, it's, it's a royal appointment and you are the Queen's representative for law and order in the county. So it's a year's post, totally voluntary, and uh, apart from uh, attending royal visits and supporting the police, uh, blue light services and the judiciary, um, it, the High Sheriff role really has become more about networking and shining a light on voluntary organisations in particular, but organisations that are working to keep Essex a safer place. And how's that role changed uh, this year? Well, this year um, I began, my declaration ceremony was supposed to be 120 people in County Hall in Chelmsford, and after several plans, uh, gradually, I won't uh, go into the details, we had about five plans gradually changing, and we finished up with uh, the under-sheriff, a magistrate and myself, in the back garden at home (laughs) and we we dressed up and we did our declaration service there and from then on um, everything indoors zoom uh, telephone conversations um, recognizing I sent out uh, certificates of recognition to various organizations for the work they were doing and then slowly starting to get out and actually visit some of them now we're approaching the uh, the Westcliff Casino now back on your your coastal walk where now after today and and actually uh, what's been the best part so far uh so well, lots of lots of good parts the real highlights the send off from the wash your hands band from harridge which was fantastic a band that had formed during lockdown to go round to people's houses who you know would have had uh, birthday celebrations and uh, anniversaries and so on just to make their day a bit special playing in the back garden so they gave us a lovely send off that was really special all the people that we've walked with so many interesting people finding a shark's tooth on uh, out at the Nays, Walton on the Nays, that was that was good and uh, a very special thanks to Paul Button from uh, Mersey Outdoors having a stay at the the youth camp there sadly not with youngsters yet they're gradually starting to open up but having a barbecue on the beach there with Paul and a swim um, very special so today it's on, on to Leon Sea and then uh, Benfleet this afternoon that's and then on to Tilbury after that. that that's all, well, Benfleet uh, on to Vange and Mucking Flats, Fobbing Church uh, and around there, around the uh, DP World, the London Gateway and then on to Coalhouse Fort um, and then finishing at Tilbury Fort on Thursday sort of afternoon. Yep. Uh, if you could uh, pick one memory from, from the walks so far, tricky one possibly, what would it be? I suppose that meeting the, the two, uh, well, no, actually, I was going to say meeting the two, two girls that found us the shark's tooth, but visiting Pioneer Trust, which is a sailing trust in Brightlingsea, and Brightlingsea itself, um, um, Felicity there, who organised all the ferrying for us across the, across the river. But Pioneer Trust is a, an amazing organisation that 
uh, does uh, apprenticeships to teach people how to do boat building, uh, proper boat building, and also uh, does sail training for youngsters, um, and particularly vulnerable youngsters, who otherwise wouldn't get an opportunity to get out on the water. So you're doing this for good causes and, and raising money. How can uh, people support you? Uh, I've set up a Go, GoFundMe page, which is under High Sheriff of Essex, Harwich to Tilbury Walk, and uh, very happy for you, for you to go on there. All the money goes into the High Sheriff's Fund, which I then issue in March at the High Sheriff's Awards to Essex-based charities, and all those charities that are designed, as I said, to keep Essex safe in the broadest sense of the word. So a lot of work with youngsters, um, a lot of work with vulnerable people. So and all the money goes plus any gift aid that's added to it so yep that 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 will be wonderful if you get an opportunity to do that brilliant head to the gofundme page julie the uh, archway cafes are in sight uh, are you going to stop in for for a coffee or an ice cream perhaps yes i'm meeting ross mcgrain of little smash comedy um who was a past student of mine and uh, and i'm going to catch up with him and really looking forward to having a, a few chuckles he always makes me laugh very funny man check him out if you can he's got clubs in shoebury that are just starting to open up well, Julie, thank you very much for, for slowing down a little bit to talk to me uh, on this bonus episode of Essex by the Sea. A standard episode of Essex by the Sea will drop on the 1st and 15th of each month, so make sure you've subscribed on your favourite podcast app. We're also across social media. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Essex by the Sea and like our page on Facebook. Until next time, thanks for listening. <laughs>